Hello there, this is Glenn Berry from Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to cover two queries. These will include Query 25 Fixed Drives and Query 26, which is Volume Info. This series of videos is going to go through the complete set of my SQL Server 2019 Diagnostic Information Queries. These queries are available for free at glensqlperformance.com resources. Please keep in mind that I have other sets of SQL Server Diagnostic Queries for other versions of SQL Server, Azure SQL Database, and SQL Managed Instance. The queries you see demonstrated in this video are very similar or identical to the queries for older versions, and the same concepts apply. Let's start with Query 25. This query reads from the SysDMOS Enumerate Fixed Drives DMV, which is documented here. Despite what the Microsoft documentation says, this DMV was added in SQL Server 2017, not in SQL Server 2019. Another interesting issue with this DMV is that it is poorly named. The name SysDMOS Enumerate Fixed Drives would seem to indicate that it only returns fixed drives but it also returns removable drives, such as USB thumb drives, so just be aware of that. At a high level, this query simply shows all the drives that the operating system can see, along with how much space is available on each drive. This is not just the drives where you have SQL Server database files. Now let's run this query and see what it returns in more detail. As you can see, it returns a drive path, a drive type description, and the available space in Gigabyte for every drive that the operating system can see. This helps you understand where you might have available disk space that you might be able to use for SQL Server database files. Of course, before I started using any available disk space that I find from this query for SQL Server, I would want to know more information about the underlying storage. This would include the number and type of drives and their RAID level. Again, this query has nothing to do with whether there are any SQL Server database files already on the drive or not. This is an important distinction compared to the next query in the set. Next, we have Query 26, which is Volume Info. This query reads from the SysDMOS Volume Stats DMF, which is documented here. You must pass in the database ID and the file ID from SysMaster files to the DMF since it won't accept nulls as parameters. This query shows you more complete information about each logical drive that has any SQL Server database files from the current instance that you're connected to. Now let's run this query and see what it returns in more detail. As you can see, it returns the volume mount point, the file system type, the logical volume name, and then the total size in gigabytes and the available size in gigabytes, along with the percentage of space free. It also returns a series of flags about compression and sparse files and alternate streams. For SQL Server, you don't want to be running low on disk space, both for obvious reasons of running out of disk space and also because depending on the underlying storage, whether it's magnetic storage or solid state NAND flash based storage, your performance can be affected when you run low on disk space. Now, a lot of SANs don't have this issue, but a lot of other types of storage do have this issue. So you always want to have plenty of available space. No, you don't want to be running low on space at any time. This is Glenn Berry, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like more content like this, because it really helps the channel out. Thanks for watching.